Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit my blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest postings, tips, tricks, and techniques, and everything about Excel. Okay, today I've created uh, what I think is a pretty cool chart. It is a beer mug that fills up with beer and has foam at the top, uh, like let's say for a company goal chart or any party chart, something that when you hit your goals, uh, this chart can be used. So let me show you how that works. So you come over here and you type in. So let's say we started out at 45% of goal. You can see how the beer fills up the mug uh, there. And if we go ahead and we keep changing it, let's go up to 75%. It continues to fill it up. 95% are almost there. Uh, but when you go above 100%, so let's go up to 105%, you can see that foam gets added on top of the beer. Uh, let's go up to 115 you can see that now we've got a lot of foam on top of our beer. So let me show you how we go about making that. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go out and find some graphics. Uh, there's lots of stock photo sites that you can find these graphics on. Uh, and so I've got a graphic of my beer mug. I've got a graphic of where I chose the beer from. And then I've got a graphic for my foam. Uh, so let's see what I end up doing. Once you've got a one for your beer mug, you can see it's an empty beer mug. I'm going to copy that by hitting Control C, and I'm going to do Control V to paste. Okay, so we've pasted it. Now, what we want to do here is we want to actually crop these pictures uh, in such a way that we're only going to use components of them. So the first thing is I want to click on the picture, then this format uh, ribbon appears. Click on the format ribbon, and on the far right, you'll see there is a crop button. Click on crop. And it allows you to go ahead and select uh, different areas to crop your picture to. So I'm just going to go ahead and crop the top and the bottom. Now I'm cropping the bottom because this is where I want zero to start. And then we're going to fill up beer in here because you can't put beer at the bottom of the mug. So when you click away, it's been cropped. Let's click on the next one. Go up to your format ribbon. Click on the crop button again. And in this case, we're going to actually make the bottom of the mug. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now, if you're not sure if they align or not, you could uh, drag and drop that like that. And look, looks like one complete mug, although it's actually two different pictures. For our beer, um, I clicked on it, went to my crop button, and I'm actually going to go ahead and try and find an area where the beer and is and kind of make a rectangle out of it. And so you can see I've cropped my beer, and it's going to fit into my mug like that. And if I send this to the back, you'll see a little bit more of what that looks like. So that's going to fit in the back of my mug. Then finally, what we need to do is we need to crop the foam out of this picture. Click on it, click on format, crop, and we're going to crop just the foam part of it. Let's uh, kind of do like that and copy or go ahead and move it now that it's cropped. And you can see that that's going to fit up on top of our picture, kind of like that. So once you've got your pictures assembled, what we need to do is we now need to build our chart. So what I've done is I've got the lower part of the mug is going to be negative 20%. That's because it's going to go below uh, the x-axis and go negative on the vertical axis. We have our upper mug. I just kind of like 100. You could make it uh, our 101 just because I like to see a part of the top of the mug. Uh, you can make that 100 if you like. Uh, there's lots of different things that you can do there. Um, these position beer series that you see here, these are going to be used on the secondary axis to move our beer level into the right position for the mug itself. So these just need to be set to zero. We can set them to something else if we like, but uh, uh, we're going to ultimately move them back to zero. And then we've got the beer foam, and that's uh, going to be a series there. Let's take a look at the current beer level. This is actually a formula, and as you can see in this formula, what it's doing is it's saying if E1 is a number, then go ahead and if E1 is greater than 1, then let's make it 1. So that means if it's greater than 100%, let's just make it 100%. If not, let's put in the value in E1. If it's not a number, let's make it 0, just kind of a, an error checker. So what that does is E1, if it is, say, 75%, it will put in 75% as our current beer level. 
if it goes above 100%, like 105, our current beer level will cap out at 100%. Then we have another formula down here in our beer foam area where you can see it says if B5, which is our current beer level, is equal to 1. So if it's equal to 1, then let's get the subtraction of E1 minus B5. Um, else, let's leave it as 0. So in this case, since it is 105% minus 100%, gives us the remainder of 5%. So we're all set to go ahead and make our chart. So what we want to do is we want to highlight our range. We want to go up to our insert ribbon. And then from our column chart button in the chart section, we want to create what's called a stacked column chart. Let's put that up into position so you can see that a little closer. So uh, Excel does not put it in the right order based on uh, some conventions that it has. You can read about that on my blog. But what we want to do is select our chart, go up to our design ribbon, and then in our design ribbon there is a switch row or column button. We click on that and you'll see it orders it the way that we want it. So uh, let's do a few cleanup things. Since there's only one series, it's going to put one down here on the axis for the horizontal axis as a label. We want to just hit the delete button on that. So I selected it and hit the delete button. We got rid of that. What we want to do is we want to copy our graphics into the actual stacked bar chart here. So let's go over here to our graphics. We've got the upper part of the mug. I've selected it and I'm going to hit my control C or I can right click and do copy. I'm going to go into my chart and I'm going to find the series labeled upper mug. It's this red one. Right click on it and do paste. Oh, paste isn't an option there, so uh, um, let's just uh, click on it and hit control V and it will paste in our upper mug series. Let's do the same for the lower mug series. So that's that one there. I have control C to copy the lower mug and then paste it there. This is the beer series, so I'm going to go grab the beer control C, come into my chart, click on the beer series for current beer level, control V for paste, and then this top one up here is beer foam. So let's click on the beer foam, hit control C, come into my chart, click on the beer foam, and hit control V. So we're getting our chart lined up right now, but we need to do a few things to move uh, the beer to the secondary axis. So what we want to do is right click on the beer, and then click on Format Data Series. So what we want to do is we want to move the beer to the secondary axis on our series options. You can see that's a choice right there. Now we also want to do this with all of these position beer series. They're hard to see on here. You can find on my blog how to find this without changing the values. But let's go in and change these values to say 25, 24, oh, and 25. Um, you can see that they're all kind of showing up right now. So there's that position for the beer. If I right click on it, do format data series, and move it to the secondary axis. And you see we also have another one here. Um, they're hard to see right now, so uh, even changing these to a number is, makes it really difficult to still find. Uh, you can find it on my blog on how to select an unselectable data series. But I'm just going to go through this kind of quickly, and I'm going to click in my chart and move my up arrows. And you can see over on the right that my as I move my up arrows, the series selected are changing. So I'm going to hit Control-1, and I know I've selected another beer position series and move it to the secondary axis. And I'm going to find the last one and move it to the secondary axis. So our positioning of the beers and the beer have all been moved to the secondary axis. Now what we want to do is we want to change this to an actual column chart. So you can right click on any one of the beer series or the position beer series. We want to change the series or chart type. What we want to change it to is now that it's on the secondary axis, we want to change it to a standard clustered column chart click on that and click on OK. Now you can see that it's aligned our series along uh, to try and match up with our mug. Uh, now I did this on purpose. I put it in the wrong position because I want to show you how to move these. Click anywhere in the chart. Let's move it over one series by going up to your layout, oh, I'm sorry, your design ribbon. Then in your data group, there's this select data button. Click on that move it out of the way just a little bit. You can see all of our series, uh, legend entries and series are all listed here. We want to click on the current beer level. There's that series. And then there's these up buttons. We want to move it up or down. We move it up and look at that. It moves it over to the left. 
and so that you can now see it is uh, almost lined up with our beer mug. Let's click on OK. Now uh, we changed these values to 25 and 24 percent so that we could see them. We want these back to zero, so let's change them back to zero uh, so that they're hidden. Now, there's only one other thing we need to do to line this up on the secondary axis. Let's right click on it, do Format Data Series, move this over here. We want to change our series overlap and our gap width, so, and, and we just kind of, kind of tweak it until our beer actually fits within the mug that we like it. So I'm just uh, expanding the series overlap to make it a little bit wider, get up to about 40% or so. And then our gap width, I probably want to shrink this, let's see. Uh, there we go, make it a little bit larger gap. Uh, and that actually looks pretty good. Let's click on close and take a look. Our beer is now fitting uh, somewhat between our beer mug, so it looks pretty good to me. We can do a little bit of chart cleanup now and get this a little bit tidier. If we click on our secondary vertical axis and hit our delete key, you'll see it comes into alignment a little bit more. And let's get rid of our legend over on the right by just clicking on it and hitting your delete key. And uh, I'm move this over and shrink it up just a little bit. So uh, you can see that we're just about done. The only thing that we haven't done is we've got negative 20 and negative 40 here. So that's a little strange because you can't go through the glass. We want to get rid of the negatives. And you do that by right clicking on your primary vertical axis. Click on Format Axis. Then what we want to do is we want to change a few things. We want to change our minimum to be uh, negative 0.2 and we want to change our maximum to be something like 1.2 then we also want to change our number series we want to create a custom number and I've already created it here but you can read a little bit more about this on my blog uh, we have created it such that the uh, positive numbers are going to be zero with a percentage anything that's negative is blank see between these uh, uh, two semicolons is blank, so anything negative will not show up. And then uh, we've also got how we're treating text in there as well, um, the actual zero value. Uh, so you you type in that zero percent colon or semicolon semicolon zero percent. Click on add, click on close, and look at that. Our chart vertical axis has been healed. And let's go ahead and change it, uh, some values in here. So if we change this to 25%, you'll see our foam goes away. Our beer is now down to 25%, which matches up with our grid lines. Let's go up to 40%, matches up with our grid lines. Uh, let's do 80%. There we are. And once we start to get over 100%, you'll see the beer stops and the foam starts. We're at 105. Let's go 110. Foam's a little larger. Let's finish it out at 115. You can see the foam's gotten even larger there.